Davis, two, three. And the other I've got, I've got Adam Hans, Magma, and Melinda Messenger. That's the teams, but we don't have a quiz without him, and sadly we don't have him, though George Dawes isn't here today, but we've got the next best thing, it's his mum, Marjorie Dawes! Oh, oh, Red or dead, isn't it? Red or yeah, prefer Dorothy Perkins. Ready, steady, cock! Ready, steady, cock! Yeah, fake. We know they're fake. We don't think they're real. All right, Marjorie. All right, Marjorie. Lovely to see you. First round, as always, is true or false? Is it true or is it false? We don't know. Is it false? Is it true or is it false, Mark? I don't know yet. Right, well, we'll find out. Find out. The first question is for you, Fern. Ooh. Now, Fern, you always give the contestants on Ready, Steady, Cook 25 minutes. You restrict them to 25 minutes. But how long, Fern, does it take to bring you to the boil? <laughs> <laughs> Just counting. A bit longer. A little bit longer. <laughs> That's what Enrico always says. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit longer and you'd have been in, son. <laughs> <laughs> and Fern, your true or false question is as follows. When she goes on holiday, the Queen doesn't have to have a registration plate on her caravan. True or false? <laughs> true. It's false! Oh, unlucky, yeah. unlucky, oh, unlucky. Oh, now, Melinda oh. Messenger, <laughs> the fine art critic studying Russian, and you're <laughs> currently on your 16-week documentary about Kandinsky. Any good or not? I don't care, Melinda, cos you're just so kooky! <laughs> But, Melinda, yes. true or false, Pontius Pilate was a Scot. <laughs> I'd say false. It's true, true. Melinda! Oh, unlucky <laughs> Melinda. Ulrika. Melinda, oh, is that microphone all right for you tonight? <laughs> it's in the right position, isn't it? you got no worries with that. Yeah. And your drink's all right there. <laughs> OK, good. Dirty man. Dirty, nasty man. No, just a kind man. Ulrika, you look cool enough that you look a little bit like the Fonz. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, she does. Is it the sideburns? Yeah. <laughs> or the no, it's a penis. He, he no. <laughs> Ulrika, yeah? I need to know if it's true or if it's false. George Michael used to work in BHS. True or I thought it was false. Well, I guess he must have had a job before. Yeah, I guess it's true. It is true. Well done, Ulrika. Yes. Well done. Well done. <laughs> He did. He worked on the confectionery counter, Ulrika, and he got the sack, of course, because he was very careless with the whispers. <laughs> 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 I just got it. <laughs> Mark Lamar. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the little boy stopped. He's a greasy lover! <laughs> Mark, true or false, Elton John's boyfriend is a fishmonger from Battersea. <laughs> and Elton only goes out with him because he gets cheap haddock. <laughs> I don't care, but I'd like to believe it's true. You'd have said to it, I'm sorry, it's false, but there's a picture of Elton. Yeah. <laughs> a lovely mouthful of haddock. And he looks like he's just had a lovely mouthful of fish cakes there, didn't he? Rain. Wayne Hemingway, the creator of Red or Dead. Hello. What do you think about Wayne when you wink? <laughs> <laughs> Just at that moment, you know, when you decide to wink. I think I think of my wife. No, Even I when don't... I'm winking at Ulrika here, I'm thinking, at my, thinking of my wife at the same time. Don't wink at her, she'll be on you like a dozen. Wayne, true or false? The inventor of Mr Sheen was actually called Dusty Man. <laughs> <laughs> true or false? It's got to be true. It's false! Oh, I'm no, sorry! No. I'm terribly sorry. Adam. Adamant. The dandy highwayman. 
sitting next to the Randy Dustbin man. He <laughs> <laughs> <It> sells watches. <laughs> Adam, yeah. true or false, 19th century surgeons used to insert taps into people's heads to drain off the excess pressure. True or false? Taps into the head. That's absolutely true, Vic. Absolutely you know, true. Absolutely it true. Is, well, I'll tell you what we can find out. Now, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're under a bit of pressure. You look like you're under a bit of pressure, oh, yeah. Adam. Yeah. Well, let's find out. Oh, that... <laughs> it's all right. Oh. Oh, that, that's all right. There's a hole. Can OK, let's put the tap bung in. Knock it in. Hang on a minute. It's in! It's in! Right, let me get my cup. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, thanks, mate. It's rather sweet. Sorry. It's kind of like... Oh, it is a psych. Umbongo! 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 We drink it in the Congo! Umbongo! Umbongo! We drink it in the Congo! Umbongo! Umbongo! We drink it in the Congo! Umbongo! Well done, Adam. That's the end of the two. Paul Charles, let's go straight up to Marjorie Dawes and say, Marjorie Dawes, what's the song? I know, I said so, yeah. And Fern Britain. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and she said so, so, and she said, told me how nice I looked, and I said, yeah, well, you have a go, you know, but you don't quite make it. Anyway, <laughs> I said, the main thing, I'm on the phone. All right. So the main thing was, uh, sorry, both teams got one. <laughs> Next round is the clips round. We're going to show both teams a clip, and thereafter. Wait, no. <laughs> the next round is the clips round. We're going to show both. Yeah. We're going to show both teams a clip. Watch it very carefully. The question comes after. I'm Michael Winner, the film director, and I'm here with a girl who calls her my eyes to impress her by causing a fuss at a posh restaurant, and I demand the best seat you've got. Yes, sir. Is everyone OK for you here? No, it's not. I'm Michael Winner, the film director. <laughs> I've made three films. How about you one by the window? That's fine for me, Michael Winner. Come on. I'm Michael Winner, the film director. I was born in the last <laughs> I've made three films and I'm here with a girl who caught her my eyes to impress her by causing a fuss in a posh restaurant. Are you ready to order? I'm Mark Winner, the film director. Oh, shut up! I've made three from <laughs> I'm Pierre von Flouncy Lamb Chop House. Quite similar outlets, all serving identical menus at the same prices. You're more than welcome to visit. Bye bye. That's the trip. The fingers on your buzzers. Can you tell me what national newspaper is Michael Winner's column Winner's Dinners in? Wayne. Sunday Times. Is the correct answer Wayne? <laughs> well done, Wayne. Look at the Wayne. Oh, we. Ka, 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 ka. What's that? Ka. Oh, it's for. Oh, uh, Mark, it's for you. It's probably one of those girls. It's your fault. No, no. Listen to this. There's someone. <laughs> There's no one there. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> walk a bell, walk a bell, walk a bell, walk a bell. He's a rock and rolling guy. Yeah, yeah, you're always right. With his living tribute to the Cuban heel atop his head. <laughs> Next round is the club singing round where my colleague. Mr. Vic Reeves, who should be seated here. Hello. There he is. We'll sing a song in the club style. You've got to guess what song it is he's singing. Listen very carefully. Are you ready, Marjorie? Yes. Yeah, what song is he singing? Difficult with his nails, but I'll give it a go, yeah. Give, give it, it a go, go then. Hey, 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 no one got it then? No. Okay, no. let's start. We'll both have a go. Let's see if it helps. Two, three, four. <laughs> 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 got it! Hemingway! Stand and deliver, Adam and the Ants. Yeah! yeah. 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 Let's hear it, Yes! Let's hear it, Come on, Adam! 
understand and deliver <laughs> your money or your life. <laughs> The question's over. Let's see what our guests have to offer as we ask the random light to make its presence felt here tonight. Here she goes. Who's it going to be? Return. No, it's brilliant to see you. Absolutely marvellous. And you must come back and tell us how you got on because you look great. It's Johnson. Is it Lorraine Kelly? Yes. It is. Oh. Oh. I thought it was Robert Burns. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good job I didn't have a buzzer, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Random lights, like the demon from the air. <laughs> Choose a contestant. With, with a lovely pair. <laughs> oh! <laughs> kind of. Who's it going to be? Ant! Oh. Ant! He uses a knife, you use a gun. He kills one of yours, you kill six of his. Someone's in, who's that? Sean Connery in, um... Uh, what's that? Anything. Um, Untouchables. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the end of the impressions round, so Marjorie Dawes, what, what are, are the scores? scores? That's you on stage in Darlington. And that's you on stage in Darlington. And that's you on stage in Darlington. Look, Marco there. And that's... You on stage in... It's such a shame George couldn't be here, but as I say, I think he's ill. And that's you on oh. stage in Darlington. And that's you... Anyway, Ulrika's got three, Mark's got one. She's a killer. Vita. Bob. Yeah. Do you remember that time we went to the seaside? I do. I had a bucket. And I had a spade. Oh, we looked for the fun fair. And I looked for the winkles. <laughs> Uh, what was that, the song of the three half-wits or something? For two bags against one is strong! I can overpower your two bags. Sir. We shall see, sir. I am joining the two bags now. The power is immense. All this is powerful to dislodge a pilgrim from the edge of time. <laughs> Your bag is weakening, sir. Your bag, bag is weakening. Empty. You can feel it. My bag empties. But what? I have a secret weapon. Go! <laughs> Jesus! I reign supreme! Talk around me, boy. I reign supreme! We shall return. Next round is the Duff from Above round. Oh. No, yes, it is, and I've got to ask your, my guests here for their assistance in beckoning Bob, down. Bob, can I just stop you there? What? The, the Dove couldn't make it tonight. Why not? Because it was on a, a UN uh, <laughs> peace mission flying, you know, like hovering over some battleground somewhere. So it couldn't come. What's Sorry. So, the, what, so what have we got then? The beast from the east. Beast from <laughs> the east. <laughs> it's better not be because you've got a beast joke, Vic. <laughs> oh, no, no. So oh, what, no, no, no. So how do I get it on then? Right. Can I, <laughs> so can I guess help me to <laughs> no, no, all right, stop that. Help me to beckon on the beach from the east. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming from over there, Fern. <laughs> 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 That's a beast, is it? Yeah. The beast from the east, ladies and gentlemen. Now, as you can see at the top. Oh Bob, can I just stop you there? A beast did his shopping in Leicester. <laughs> on this occasion, he returned home to his beast of a wife and said, from now on, I'm going to do my shopping in nearby Loughborough.
can see on the sweaty head of the beast there are six apples. I'm going to ask you each in turn to choose one of those numbered apples, for they are numbered. Mm. I'm going to ask you to choose one. Now, each one represents a question, but hidden behind one of them, there may well be a very special prize. Should you choose that apple, you'll hear this noise. Iranu! <laughs> However, if during this round, Fern, you should answer any question correctly, you will undoubtedly hear this noise. Uvavo. <laughs> <laughs> you won't believe what he's just done. Couple of monkeys. Wayne, can you pick an apple from the beast from the east, please? Number four, please. Number four! <laughs> <laughs> Number four, it's a good choice, Wayne. <laughs> it's a good choice. I'm going to ask you, Wayne, if you can do this for me. Can you, via the gift of the internationally accepted jester... Gesture? Gesture. <laughs> gesture. For example, this is... Phew, it's hot in here. <laughs> gesture, he's trying to say. That's gesture. how I forgot the meringues. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Using that kind of language, the international gesture for... <laughs> you are going to hang. Wow! Oh, no. Well oh, no. No, that's, I, there's no way I'm going to use a circular toilet pull <laughs> in this chamber. <laughs> no, that's all right. You are going to pull the chain to release the birds that peck the eyes out of my bloody family. Why? <laughs> <laughs> that's not what is it? Mark. It's the old. Oh, no, that's all right. <laughs> OK, OK, I'm going to have to give it to Mark, because I think that was the internationally accepted gesture. Well done, Mark. Nothing about Well done, that. indeed, Mark. Ho, 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 and the laughing Christmas. Oh. Adam, select an apple from the beast from the east. Number six, please. Number, Number six. six. <laughs> 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 That's magic. And, you know, Adam, it is magic, because you've selected a magic question. We are going to perform for you a little magic act. What's the act, Adam? The question comes straight after. Looking for beer. <laughs> Adam, I yeah. set fire to Bob's ear then in that magical trick. Yeah. Can you name me three pets, household pets that don't have ears? <laughs> <laughs> Budgies. <laughs> Tortoises. Yeah. Goldfish. And slugs. Oh, Vavu. <laughs> it was snakes. <laughs> Fish and tortoises. Unlucky. I think we can probably give you two there. Though. Yeah. Oh, all right, <laughs> we'll give you a point there. Right. Ulrika. <laughs> can I have number two, please? Of course you can, love. <laughs> 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 it's Marjorie's question. Listen to what Marjorie has to say. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> Hello. Marjorie Dawes here with some more dietary tips. <laughs> My new diet is the half the calories diet. That's right, the new half the calories diet. It's very simple. We all like a bit of cake, don't we? Yeah, we do. We like a bit of cake. Well, it's very simple. Simply take the cake, cut it in half. That's half the calories. And if it's only half the calories, you can have twice as much. You can. You should. In fact, you're actually supposed to. You really are. Thank you. Oh, lovely. Oh, Rika. You heard about the diet? Half of everything, but can you tell me? And I'm going to put a clock on you here. What is a half times a half? A quarter. It's a bloody correct answer. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? <laughs> well done. Yeah. Melinda, would you like to pick an apple from the beast from the east? <laughs> three. Number three. Number three. <laughs> <laughs> Melinda. 
Can you name three celebrities named after measurements? Michael Foot. One. Oh, Vavu. <laughs> Let's listen to what you could have had. Michael Foot. Robert Miles. The oh. Yardies, any of them. <laughs> Lord Luton, Terry Wet, Paul Lynch and Paul Furlong. Fern, can I just illustrate something to you, just now, if I might? And it's this fact, that even a household pet can occasionally suddenly rear up Ooh. like that. <laughs> so beware of that fact. <laughs> you see? Yes, do. You're prepared, though, you're prepared. Now, they can rear up. Fern, <laughs> Fern, may I invite you to choose a category from the Beast from the East? Thank you. May I choose number one? Number one, you may have. <laughs> Fern, have a look at this clip. The question comes straight after watching it very carefully. It's just for Fern. Come on, just one last push. <laughs> oh, what is it, Dr. McMichael's brother? Ah, a film there of Ulrika giving birth. Imagine just, that. Imagine. Oh God. <laughs> Fern! Fern! But what was Ulrika about to give birth to? Ah. Oh. Mm. She said, what is it, Doctor? It was a baby. A baby. A baby what? A what, human? A baby Ulrika human. Let's have a look. It's a boy. <laughs> That's the end of the Beast from the East show. So, Marjorie, just tell us what, what are, are the, the scores? scores? By the way, mine are real. And as we go into the final round, Ulrika's got six shes in the lead. Mark's lagging behind with four. Oh! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Let's go into the quick It's the last round, Ulrika. Mm. So, come on, it's the last round. We don't know how much time we've got. When the time's up, you will hear this noise. I'm on the phone. <laughs> That's a noise you hear, we don't have time we got. It's on the buzzers. We really want to see your fingers. Yes, yeah, 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 fingers. yeah, 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 yeah. Finger. First question coming up. Which painter's work has fetched the highest price at auction? Ant. Then go. Lamar. Oh, oh, that's the correct answer. Name the star of Morse. <laughs> oh. No, it's a Jaguar! Yeah! <laughs> How many balls are there in a game of snooker? And that's... Britain. Britain. Uh, 13. 31. 13. Oh, the answer is 22, but mm. 26 if you count the two players. <laughs> <laughs> Approximately how many penguins live in the Arctic? Ooh. Ooh. That's the bar. 55,273. No, that was exactly... none, because penguins live in the Antarctic. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> You've won tonight, which is fan fantastic. So it falls to you to choose one of your side to take tonight's challenge. Um... Actually, forget it, Ulrika. You haven't done a punishment all series, so Ulrika, tonight you come and join me for Onion Family Values. Come on! <laughs> And stand in front of the eye. Here's Brother Vic to explain further. Thank you, Brother Mortimer. OK. Ulrika, you have left... Well, you've left your family alone in the village, high up in the mountains. <laughs> but a giant has come down and stolen all the onions and taken it to its cloud lair. That's right, Ulrika. Now, your village loves its onion drinks. Of course it does. It's understandable. Any so village does. It falls to you, Ulrika, to go to that giant and rescue the onions for your village. But there's a problem. The giant has stored them within his eye. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rika, can I invite you to commence 
Your ascent into the giant's eye, up can the I steps take there. Your off? Go, you can take your jacket off. Oh, take your jacket off, but nothing you else. Nothing stinking else. thing! <laughs> and your shoes. And your stupid shoes! But we're against the clock here. <laughs> right. Reverse yourself into there. Now put your hand on our shoulders. You can just just out there. Just, just get just slip your feet. Do I put my Left foot in, foot to the back. Jeez. That's it. Yes. That's it. Well, over the onions. Over the onions. And the third foot. <laughs> No, 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 no. Yes, no. Yeah, she's in. She's, she's in. in. She's in. She's in. She's in the giant's eye. <laughs> it falls to you, Ulrika, to rescue the onions from the eye and eject them into the pot so the village can enjoy its onion, onion drink. drinks. Now, so, Ulrika, we don't have much time you've got, but the time's up, you'll hear this noise. Well, I said I went to that Greek restaurant. I didn't think much about the food, but smashing plates. <laughs> Five pounds for every onion family member you get in, in the, the pot. pot. Come on. go. On you go, River. Restaurant. Is that it, Marjorie? Yes, it, it is. is. Let's have a look. There's a leap, there's a leap, there's a four leaps of all leaps. Six to one. Oh, the house be The onion will be cooked tonight in the village. Come and join us. Your captain. Come and join us. a tasty burger. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger. I do believe Marcellus, my husband, your boss, told you to take me out and do whatever I wanted. We're in a lot of danger, aren't we? Prepare yourselves for Tarantino's Pulp Fiction, Sunday, 10.15, BBC Two. Never work on television again. I'm on that bombshell! Never work on television again. Never, never! It's 4.35 a.m. You're listening to Up of the Partridge. <laughs> Little swine trying to get me on the inside. No way, Jose. No way. Did you used to watch my TV show? I loved it. <laughs> Aha! I'm Alan Partridge. Monday at 10 on BBC Two. I'm your man. <laughs> the X Files in half an hour on BBC One, but first, should old acquaintance be forgot? Perhaps they should.